Hello everyone, welcome to the raccoon. Raccoon and the fuck. Hello everyone, welcome to the Raccoon Ninja channel. I'm John, and welcome to part 4 of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now I'm gonna turn down my volume a bit more. Because for the last few videos, I have just been deathly quiet to the point where you can't really hear me well. So, yeah, we're gonna continue. The lounge. Now's a good time as any to clean up my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in. Guys, fuck. Immediately. Literally third dialogue prompt, and I cannot read it. <laughs> We're off to a beautiful start. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I no reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> see you made it here. Fuck. <laughs> I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking the doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. N I might have misread that previously because I've been locked since. Now, if you can leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. Appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Johnny, it seems like shadows are gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answer sales? <laughs> Indubitably, my dear Johnny. Alright. There's another robot arm just doing this thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robot arm, can you... Bring me a cold Chaos Cola. I'm pretty thirsty. Nope, not listening to me. Uh, I'm quite parched, too. I could run to get some Chaos Cola for you. Uh, no, it'll be fine. Thank you, Tins. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here after all. Well, let's ask Amy. How you two finally caught up? I'm surprised it took you long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been... We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip. But I'll... But I will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be... I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Can you please tell us? No way. General supporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm curious that I'm curious what it is. She seems confident. Well, we'll hold you to it. I'm so close to getting the scoop of the century, I can feel it. Can I look at the phone? No. Computer! They told us about this in my interview. It launches the computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely! Seems convenient. It is! A shame- It is! A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Fax machine. It seems the printer is hooked up to a computer. Can he print something? Sonic singing a song, Sonic the boat. Sonic the boat. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Tricky? Uh, me and editing put some weird visual of the tricky clown guy from Madness Combat there. Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it. But I won't let it stop me. <coughs> and <coughs> and here you go. Yep, this is exact. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. <laughs> oh, Sonic, always getting up to casual. I'll, uh, quietly set back- I'll, I'll, uh, quietly set this back on the- on the printer. Keys. 
Hmm. A key ring. It must be. It must be shadows. The locksmith. Interesting. There are only two keys. I thought the locksmith would have a bunch. <laughs> Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring. Is that a tier inventory? Hey, it's the big chow band. Well, yes, it did. <laughs> Tails. Tails just. As soon as they started playing, Tails was just like. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Those chow understand music. Window. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. These windows are huge! What a view! I didn't realize this train would drive along the. the, the fuck. I didn't realize this train would drive across the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. But I just thought the same thing. What about, what about the closet? Are there any? Are there any people in here? Johnny, can you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, leaps out? I just think you should do it! <laughs> Hold on, let me think about this. Is it... Is it Tails, like, the one... Like, the... <coughs> like, out of us two. Like, theoretically speaking, Tails and I were in the same room. Wouldn't Tails be the more heroic one, considering he's been on more adventures than me? Because, like, canonically, aren't I just, like, some guy who really knows how to use the microwave? Yeah, fuck it, whatever. Alright, watch a pro. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> All this dust, you opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere! <laughs> okay, I, I was acting a little t Tails. <laughs> no. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has an empty Johnny, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again? I'm just going to trash Let's move on. I gotta be that simple. Hold on. Lever. You tail, so you see this? A pole string. Johnny. What is it? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened! There's a full passageway back here. Come on, they have to see where this leads. It's curious. This must mean something big. What the fuck? This is the library! This is a pass from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh! Quick, back to the passage before they spot us. We need to add it to our inventory. <laughs> you know, I just like the idea of taking the whole door and just putting it in my pocket. But also, before before this, before the passage, nope, I'm just that's, right, before the whole passage thing. I just found it funny how I just like the idea. That I'm just like at the verge of tears every time I'm trash can and say just <laughs> Sorry, thing quit. Anyway, sorry my recording button stopped. Anyways, I just like the idea how I'm at the verge of tears when a trash can doesn't have anything in it. It's like <laughs> just no it, it, ha it has to have something, it has to have something, please. Okay. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare, it's so cold. 
you know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. You know, maybe, you know, maybe we'll get out of here, actually. Johnny, we certainly will not. Um, there's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That's fair. That's fair. You know, maybe we can anger actually. Johnny, you want to see? Uh, uh, Is there anything I can fiddle around with other than the trash can? I have an auto clicker, uh, but I can't use it because this thing, because this game is like permanent full screen. Whatever. Maybe. Glad you finally caught up. I'm supposed to take this long later. Uh, uh, I hear sharing is caring. Uh, never mind. Uh, did I did I mess with everything? Yes. No. Yeah, we think we should take the trash bin. Every trash bin has an empty building. He doesn't play it every time. What do you say? Put something in the trash bin. Uh. All right, let's take the trash bin. What's this? Huh? <laughs> 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 so. I went to the front page of a ticket website and it's for Hot Honey. Interesting, Hot Honey is off in these different bands. Who cares what it is? It's out of your inventory. Are you sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. It's all our successes in trying to trash. But then you can know. You see? The trick. The raccoon is right. The raccoon is always right. There is something in the trash can. Maybe. I think we're gonna cut it. Okay, okay. A uh, question for Ma? You know the journalists can't be murdered, right? You learned the train will come to the thing. Well, you've had your hammer this whole time. That's a good point. Simple. The birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. I don't go anywhere without my hammer. Uh, birthday law. We should have known. Everyone knows birthday rules like this. <laughs> Alright, so does that mean I can just tick AK points? <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Uh, false alarm, false alarm. Uh, but backspace, backspace. Now, no more questions when you're ready to challenge. Shadow, talk to him, I'll be ready. Oh, never mind. I'm so close to getting the scoop. I can feel it. Why did you come over here? Tear gate. Shadow, we have questions for you. If you three get out, I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone aboard this train. Every single person has mentioned running into you. We've been locking every door in the you've been locking every door in this train, and And I know why. Oh. Some on my screen. Oh. Pray tell, why was I locking the door? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip! Hope everyone's ready for this scoop found by yours truly! We're ready! According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, or Sonic the station. This door right here in the, in the, the, the this door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the, conduct, the conductor's car. Following? So the shadow is locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Oh! So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. We locked the conductor's car and locked all the others, locked on the others, so that one door, so that one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure con, con pure conjecture. You all. What's a conjecture? Oh fuck it. I, whatever. Well, my source can back up these claims. They were, they were made anonymous, but my, but I think the point stands. My source claims that they, they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped. He couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Reckless speculation. Also, didn't- In the first video, didn't we find Sonic dead on the floor? Family like guy death comes and all. In the- in the food car? Like, when the train got all the wreckage? So- So he- 
like I don't think Shadow was quite successful in his mission because because Sonic must have flew all the way back to the to the back of the bus. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic. If Shadow did lock the door, the conductor's car. Did the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic? And how is Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly! Exactly! I think Johnny and I can explain the car change. Johnny, what evidence do you have to prove that Shadow could have gone to the dining car? Keys? A map. Maybe the secret passage. Keys. No, 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 this is wrong. Do you think that evidence shows that Shadow could run over the dining Please. Okay, just my okay, just get my thoughts in order. No, no, I gotta think now. <laughs> oh my god, finally! Yes, 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 yes. On hard time ups, on hus time ups. Let's go, gamer. Johnny and I found a hidden passage in the rogue wardrobe that leads right to the library. What? Oh wait, I thought Amy was talking. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used a secret passage. Snuck to the library though. Walk past the distracted boys playing the arcade. And safely arrived in the dining car. Excellent work, Johnny. Hmm, this is just my theory, but... So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car. But the... But then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked, locked the door to the conductor car, on the way out, and dropped the body off the back. Oh! Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? <laughs> I am, but of course, it, this, this is just a theory. <clears throat> a game theory! I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up. Other than my hot scoop. Huh, it seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not gonna talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Johnny, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Vector was with Knuckles. That's true, Vector was with Knuckles. No one have seen Shadow enter the library. I see, things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind the bookshelf at a table reading. Exclamation point! Espio was reading in the library. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me to. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I, com when I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at at that whatever game, I love the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. I'd like to believe you, but you're currently our number one suspect. Why were you searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith have given his away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? <sighs> yeah. Perhaps Johnny and I can further validate Shadow's friends. We can do that? Johnny, what evidence reports that, that he was giving keys away? Keys. That feels good. Now let's get my thoughts in. <laughs> uh, time left side. Time left time. Yippee, yippee. Finally! Fucking finally! Oh my god! If it weren't for those fucking spring pads, I would've had this 30 minutes ago! Oh, oh fuck, I forgot to read the fucking dialogue. Those are those the two keys Shadow meant to give SPM Vector. No way! Well, what if... Well... What of his own... 
Well, well, one of his own key. Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. <laughs> Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? Question mark. If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason can he have for locking all the doors? She's right. The theory is strong. Details. As a I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's world? I think Johnny and I know exactly why Shadow is locking the doors. Why does he keep including me too? <coughs> Firstly, I have one question for you. Has everyone told you- Has everyone today given you your birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Ugh. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic have given me anything. That's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood, thank you, Amy. Johnny. Uh, yes, yes? I have a theory of it, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. You know Shadow walked through every every train car looking locking the exits. And he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away. Not us, John. I'm making the leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow's trying to keep Amy away. Ugh. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know, you know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Ah! How dare you, Johnny? Show me evidence. Uh huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow is trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that Shadow is too much Amy to know? It was like, dude, just organize my. <laughs> Oh, there's so many fucking big mini games. There we go. Oh my god. You went rooting through the trash? You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? You found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's on a band's ticket website. Tails, don't! <laughs> is that- This is a hot honey website! No way, I love them! Uh, hot honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is- Oh, my favorite. All the all the members have B in their name. Yes, he is an it. I. Hold on. <clears throat> oh Jesus! Fuck. I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be really online at a specific time, and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes: Why was the paper found in the trash? Found in the train car Shadow was stationed in. Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. We don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of a hot honey band ticket website exists because Shadow Punk is for Amy. <laughs> what? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? Done a poor job at hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you caught to take the three breakfast. Exclamation point. Shadow! I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. Logging into the website, did you pin the home page by accident? How the. Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not, a fanta I'm not fantastic with commute. <laughs> 
I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Ooh, probably that will be. Ah, sorry. It's all detective's job, I suppose. Well. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live. I loved them. That's when I accidentally printed out the home page. The concert tickets were, weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to buy to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away. Well, I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking the doors. Uh, uh, but for the safety of- uh, Sorry, jeez, I'm, I'm, I'm drinking Pepsi right now, mango. But for the- But for the safety of everyone, I handed out Peach and they could get in and out, pretending them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. It still managed to get here, somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door in the train. I've gone through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed, it's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I, your jester, it's so sweet. And after I accused you too, how about this? Let's buy the tickets later and I make it up for you and you can come with me. I, I, uh, don't know if. Too late, it's happening. <laughs> Flat line sound. I can't wait for this time of time. Sigh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Humph. <laughs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's Black Door finally reached the end. I blame my source for all of this. That wasn't a hot tip at all. You need to believe Shadow was behind everything. <laughs> my credibility as a journalist, journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who is the source of your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be- My credibility may be shot, but my principles stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Exclamation point. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you, I'd love to- <sighs> I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the line. I'll join as well. It's time to see this through the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Johnny, I hate to say, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. This is coming together. Both pictures are coming clear and clear. Let's end this tale. We'll pin down Sonic's murder for good. Alright then, let's do it. So you go to the conductor car? Yeah. It's now or never. Perfect timing too, like, my thing just stopped right after we left the damn car, that's crazy. I should really sort out my evidence before I continue. The much of time I've been on the train, I haven't pushed up the conductor car yet. It feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd, I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last I saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out! Come on, time to investigate! Let's crack on. What's that? Hmm, what's this? Is someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart! Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Huh. Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right, the train detects any weapons on, on a passenger before letting them aboard. Well, let's make note of this. Oh, there we go, do it you know, I'm alright, I don't need to check the- I know they say always to the trash bin, but I'm good, I'll go on the hunt. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I didn't realize this robot hunter could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function of the train like the left can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, I just know how to work the microwave. I recognize some functions. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I can drive the train. 
I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive the train flawlessly. Ah, guys. TV. I've not noticed these screens. I've noticed these screens throughout the train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture's really clear. I would watch full movies on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high quality screen probably didn't add, probably didn't add any flavor. Pro didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Should I say something? <laughs> Johnny, why are you reaching? Johnny, why are you reaching for the mic? Just uh, offer I guess, some musical entertainment. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Event Among Us. Event <laughs> Tails. Do you see that small vent on the ceiling? Have you ever heard of Among Us? Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least a person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh, uh, the tails, right. Johnny. Ah! <laughs> it's unsafe. Arm. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Gas! Ugh, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break it out of its grip. A lot of people have the shrink to tear this off. The question is, why? A, a confrontation has, de has definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and sell this once more. Hmm, I want the mug. Did this fall over on the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it to say? Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of gel in your hand. Life by your side. Parrots. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. He's probably his son. Oh, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he's suddenly finally retired. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. We haven't seen this in a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be. May any future sorrow be too. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Oh no, that's just those guys. Alright. What do you think? Are they going to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Johnny? Will they solve this case? Yeah. Hello everyone, this is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Uh, everyone, everyone is here. Wonderful to have you. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect, with assistance from Johnny. Why is it Sonic showing? Vector? Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? You must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready? I'll go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The iron here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like a thrill of a mystery. The chain has... The chain has so many... And the man... That I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery. Yes, bro. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be, I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms! Count me in! I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. I need to ride the train just to relax some time. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd be fun too. <gasps> what in the world? That's Amy's voice. <laughs> Quick, where's Amy? See, I, I knew it. I fucking knew it. He's dead. He, he's not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic. What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? 
Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? <laughs> He's banged up. There's a pulse. SP. Sit him down, Vector. Make sure his head's propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one did you hit to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could it really been one of us? There's no one else here, so Knuckles. I'll ask again. Which one of you did this? It's inex this is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm gonna expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could really handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm, I'm gonna help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're gonna figure out what exactly happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic? He really was hurt all the time. And I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murder. Tails. Johnny and I have a big tails, Johnny. I have a big request to ask. Who in who in this room did it? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Amy. Well, I don't know. I think it might have just been the train that killed him. That's what I think. I think the train killed him. Where's option nine? The fucking train. Cause he was supposed to be in the conductor's room. Or at least getting to there. But then the train took off and probably sent him 30 miles an hour backwards. And he, like, cracked his head open or something. But I don't know! Okay, so this guy, So, Knuckles... Okay, shit, man. Uh, okay, so Knuckles... Okay, so I'm gonna have to turn down the volume because it's kind of hard to... Okay, so Knuckles was in... Just a really hard thing to do. Not really doing a lot. SBO is just reading. These two were plotting to steal something. Something like Shadow and Becky were having this in the Definitely not Tails, because like, we've been like, right next to him the whole time. And definitely not Amy. Because why would she kill someone? Uh, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, such a tiger, but I can tell you that you're not it. You're not it. We just got bottom through the motivation, remember? We signed up for fucking a bird, dude. Back there? Hmm, I don't see it. But it's in the reasoning. Oh, well, um. I don't fucking know, Knuckles! I don't see it. Could it be in the reasoning? Espio, were you the one to murder Sona? God, she says things got juicy in my recording style. Exclamation point. I didn't know such thing, my young friend. If it's a battle of wood sealers, I would love to discuss it. Let's discuss. What though? Are you accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was bleeding. You have nothing. Proceeding Espio's alibi. It would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was blocked into the library by a prison. He had he only had access to the saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to life to the address. New evidence? Oh that's right. John, could you tell everyone? Oh. I said he could have left the library at any time with his tail and I found a passage for the library. The lounge found. In the lounge, the secret passage is just behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked door, that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence that you in a secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? If it's true, you didn't miss a question. I think Johnny and I can explain that too. The pug is so confused. Espio is a point. I feel such a profession. It would make you quite the reader. What are you getting at? 
he picked a random book off the shelf and memorized it, just to guarantee you something from now about What? That's absurd! Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented book, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it's plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've, I've known Espio for a long time. He won't spend her in a book. I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering into the passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in a detective's car and was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How would I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden! That's right! How would Espio even know it was there? You said by yourself, kid. You were lucky you even found the passage. Johnny Line might not have the evidence to answer your question. You know someone who does, Johnny? Where's the evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? That's not exactly what I had in mind. He told us we can see something later. It's time to take a look. Who put us I don't fucking remember! Shadow. That's... Okay, he told us we can see something later. And now it's time to take a look. Okay. Rouge. We need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole the blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout the more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprint guard to inventory. Right here, the blueprint for the entire train. As they could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw a blueprint? Blue child. Oh, Johnny, that makes it for I can actually find the blueprints. Wait, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, in the library card. I'm taking the resume card first. Let's find the blueprints I believe in. So that means SBA had the time to find blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, SBA who looked at the blueprints then used the hidden passage to get Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant. What did choose? The logistics are still vague, but Jung, I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure. Much harm as we have son. But Johnny and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is great, pray tell. If I married son, how did I do it? A blow dart! Okay. Oh god, no, no. Ah! <laughs> Caters to me perfectly. I'm not gonna fucking do that. Because he's getting. Finally! Fucking finally! Oh my god! Oh my god! It wasn't that fucking hard for the collisions to work! This boy I was trying to do that. I believe that's the useless to turn off some unconscious. Uh, so you mean Sadak like, might just be my dad? I'm unsure. He might be dead. If I knocked out Sonic in the Redemptor's time, how is Sonic trying to get dining car? I'm sure that's the point. Not really good. Must be a dinner to keep. He picked the hidden passage back. He ended up in the library. Johnny and I, Johnny and I know each other. Know another way. We do? Look at that one. Go to look at it. This... Nothing looks good. I swear to god. This is gonna be another fuck. This, this is gonna be another fake game. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why did you think of a better mini game? This think section was so damn long that I decided to cut it instead of speeding it up to ridiculous speeds. Sorry if you wanted to see a speedrun fight or something. This whole recording was over two hours long. Mostly because of those stupid fucking think sections. Just know, many swears were said.
Oh my god. Hello everyone and welcome to the real world. I swear, if this is the reason why it's been lagging so much, is because I've been using a fucking recording software. Oh god, dude. Okay, that was an error on my part. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get to get, to get Sonic there? Exclamation point. There's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Vine boom. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Through the vent over there? Oh. The vent, of course. That must- The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back here! And a track! A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I I somehow fit with Sonic in the vent and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid. So I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. Th this feeling is flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name is getting dragged around here. How on earth could Sonic get to the vent? Phew, now to think about my argument. <laughs> well, now that I've learned my lesson on... On, you know, why it's not cooperating with me. Okay, that was bullshit. Okay, I should be able to interact with the rings. You should give me a chance to interact with the rings. Oh, damn it. Damn it. I think I just... Uh... Alright. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Okay, so new plan for all videos going forward. I'm going to record them like this to optimize my gameplay. Also, Mimikyu, can you please move alert? I have a feeling your ear might interrupt. Well, I guess you can't really move over. Whatever. Over there. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, a fight broke out here. And one of these robot arms is a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said these attract the robot arms use that continues to the vent. A, a robot arm could have grabbed Sonic and passed out from a blow dart. 
and carrying him to the dining car. Could it be true? Let's take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Oh, I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's losing from the dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit, there's a lot of co co coincidences. You might not be able to link everything direct directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Let's see the hot scoop. Who was it? Was it? Someone received a hot scoop. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that got the hot scoop from. Tails, you're you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking the doors to trap Sonic. Well, you found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? <laughs> no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I uh, said Sonic's gonna be trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. If you want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole, you want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time, while well, you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage, gah! And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days. I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy at casting further blame on Shadow for, for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibi, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that could only be one person. It was you, SBO. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic? Hey guys! Sonic, you're okay! Sonic! And just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer! Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me! A blow dart though? Really? It's non lethal poison, you'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No wait, something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No! We all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He's so excited to tell me about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we take a look, we realize the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman! I took the conductor to the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it was more than a simple bad nick. The conductor was the conductor's friend. The train is his co conductor. Oh, sorry. You're not serious. Stop wiggling. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. And I don't even think the conductor knew about that, so I don't see why he would tell you if he didn't know. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Oof, bad timing. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! No! Hey, stop! What are you doing? I heard something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. Spin dash through the robot arms, slides it off the rail it was on. Wow. Amazing he was able to do any of that with this poison. The motor robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! 
The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but... Wait, reaches the camera. I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Is that why the train suddenly started speeding up? Oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I'm heard Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you, why would you not just tell us? Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. Shoot someone with the blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? That's just make believe game. Now don't you get hit with a blow dart? I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart on Sonic stationed in the conductor car. It is this with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the magic staff. staff. See? What is that? It says, use this blow I just read that. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with it, that car. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robot arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Dr. Robotnik. Johnny, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the, 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 I believe something's been orchestrating. Mm, wait, what is going on with the camera? I see the corners and the. Oh wait, I know what's, I know why it's all jittery. It's because my fan is going off. Hold on. Is that gonna make it less jittery? Alright, it's a lot less jittery down here. I believe something's been orchestrating. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. First, we learned the train's a bad Nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train is out to get us? I don't know. I don't know what the train's full intent is. But clearly it's tampering in our murder mystery game. Train! Come out and show yourself. Amy! It's my birthday. I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the ball with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This, this train can have it. No, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What is that? What did you two do? Is that, con is that the conductor? Mmm, mmm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools are distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm talking... I'm talking... I'm, ta I'm talking all... I'm, oh, I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. I thought they said talking. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails, like we always planned. What are you- Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! Ah, uh, evil laughter. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa! No, no! I can't keep my footing. Ah! Well, and it just all ended like that. And then everyone died. The end. You know, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh, ah. Uh, my head. Tails? Amy? Ah. Uh, is anyone there? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hang it in there. It seems as Shane, Shane's arms threw us back to the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog, asking about me? I feel terrible. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. <laughs> but when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Uh, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. <laughs> let's get our let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Hey, one of the robot arms. 
Hey, one of the red arms are here too. Yeah, it swiped at me. Let's leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. Window. Aw, oh, man. What's wrong? The window's all covered up. Now let me never get to look at the pretty views. When you were saying the train's sights could, couldn't be beat, I was excited. After all you've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That'd be great, but I still don't know where my wallet is. The conductor and I found Victor's ticket and napkin holder. What was his ticket doing in there? Maybe confused a napkin for his ticket and a ticket for his napkin? Ah, I hope his ticket didn't have a ketchup stain. That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Well, it's better than that yellow glow, I guess. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. <laughs> you got some nerve showing up here, egghead. Oh ho ho, you spiky blue pest. It seems like you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You own the train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Uh, ignoring that. I certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement wasn't well known, civilian. The, the infrastructure in your town just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build an Eggman line, the promise, the problems would be would be need sorting out. So courageously, so I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for feature schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Doctor Predictable. The people fear giant spheres. It's science. <laughs> Cut to the chase. We're our friends. Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what the passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a bandit is normally very basic. Just kill song of the headshot. <laughs> but for a luxury train, I want... I want it without my supervision. And a put to me if you happen to board. The train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So it confirms that the train is really sentient. Suffice to say, your capture <laughs> is inevitable. <laughs> You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. Exclamation point. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivate. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my bagniks compete one against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you with that creatures gets a generous reward. Huh. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever. But a highly intelligent train may ask it may ask for something more. Interesting. As much as I like reward programs are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my blade, pl 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 I can't fucking speak. When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. Hehehe. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has motivation, and and being made by Eggman is no doubt. It's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The trains, per the, the trains purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor has been captured. Could I have been more assertive earlier? Am I at fault here? Hey. Exclamation point. I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh yeah, sorry, I... I get it, the road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decision that you, that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me through this before I can do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Haha, uh, okay, you're right. 
Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe. Okay. We gotta keep the con we gotta get to the conductor's car before the trains arrive at Dr. Eggman's base. The doors have been for have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? What would you do? The entire day, Tails has been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Will I speed through? Will I speed out? Will I speed through head on and risk our friends by any means necessary? Here, stand back. Wow! With one big wind-up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get that door open. Hey, now the road's clear. Nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's find our friends. You know, I'm gonna stop there. Because... Zooey Mama, that has been a lot. So yeah, I will see, I will see y'all next time. Make sure to do subscribe, Discord, gaba gaba goo, and uh yeah. Anyways, I hope you have a good week, good rest of your day, blah blah blah, and uh yeah, bye bye.